Welcome to Deeply Disturbing Things. Cha cha chit chat. Oh, I'm my Macy. sign was bad on that. I'm Naomi, oh, and we're chit and chatting. <laughs> we're chit and chat. I need a redo. <laughs> I actually That's felt better. like I did fairly well that time. <laughs> Um, I would just like to pre-apologize for whatever my hair is doing today. I am down a hairstylist now and my bangs, I have self-cut twice now in a row and they are not even. There's That path leads nowhere good and I, I'm one to know. I know. So it never gets better. And then this, like it all grew out really fast. So I, I just I don't know. fix it, fix it. The never ending saga of the hair. I've been watching Yellow Jackets and I won't say anything about it, but I'm on episode nine right now. Woo-hoo! I think there's only 10. So I'm so excited to yeah. review this. I'm excited too. My notes are kind of funny initially. And honestly, I kind of stopped taking notes after a little bit because I was just kind of getting into watching it. I didn't even, wasn't. That's fine. You don't have to take notes if you And feel it'll like- be really fresh in my head because I just like, I'm it'll be fresh in it. Yeah. No, it's interesting. Um, yes. And I've been rewatching it, so it'll be fresh in mine. Awesome. And I'm picking up stuff I, I missed the first time. My bike fell in my lap. <laughs> um, that's cool. So Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott um, are renaming their baby. Their Wait, baby is you're no allowed to do that. Wolf. Oh, you can do that. You can do that. Yeah. Like, is there a time limit? I don't think so. So, like, if your child's like two years old and you're like, wow, little Billy is certainly getting bullied a lot, let's name it, let's change his name to Travis. Yeah, you can do that. Wow. What if my name? Did you ever want to rename yourself? No, but my dad told me that if I was born a boy, he just told me this today too, because he's trying to come up with a name for his male bulldog puppy. So that if I was born a boy, which apparently is what he wanted, um, he was going to name me either Stone, which was a new one I hadn't heard before, or Brick, if I was a a boy. Yeah. His other dog consideration name is Slate. Hmm. Yeah. He doesn't very uh-uh. far from the theme. No, people always spell my name wrong, though. Like, it's M-A-C-I-E. And I get M-A-C-Y is probably the most common. Um, like Macy Gray. Yeah, that was often the reference in, like, my elementary, middle school era. Yeah. I mean, I like my name and now I just usually go, yeah, whatever. <laughs> like, it's fine. Or they say Marcy. Marcy is the most common. They just <laughs> Marcy. They slip an R in there somehow. They'll read it. I graduated the, I don't know, eighth, ninth grade as Marcy Steed. And is I had a Marcy walk- from a cartoon yeah. character. Are you thinking of Daria? <laughs> yes. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Different, but same. <laughs> and I had to walk across the stage to clearly the wrong name in front of everybody and take my mm. paper and go sit down. And yeah, so that's it. How about My you? name was too weird. I didn't like it when I was little, but now I love it. And thank God I don't what, have- What, Naomi was weird? Name. It was weird. Was it? Yeah. Oh. it was different back then. Mm. And you know, you want to like fit in for some stupid reason. <laughs> remember when I had a client for a while that had the same first name as you and but there was like an extra I think it was an I somewhere in there's there. already enough vowels in there Why I know and then I one? kept spelling your name with it's this almost extra all I <laughs> it took me like a year to get to, to shake that <laughs> yeah me <laughs> Thank God I got over wanting to be normal. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're going to church. What is this neck ruffle you have going on? I'm wearing flowers. Very. I have a, a high neck ruffle and I have a matching sleeve. Yeah, wow, it's yeah, it's very. I'm getting some piratey. Like, I'm. I wasn't gonna, gonna go piratey. I was thinking like, well, maybe like the when the pirates storm the coast and kidnap the princess in her undergarments and like so if you didn't have the jacket that's what I'd imagine she'd wear like some ruffled 
tall, long garments. Just had to like add that. the black because it was way too much white. I could see, <laughs> I could see that being a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So aside from that, I, I went to a, an eye appointment today because it's been like five years since I had the PRK where they burned my eyeballs. Um, most traumatic medical thing I've ever experienced. Um, wow. I've first time I've ever had a panic attack at a, in a medical facility and. Um, that was scary. You actually hear the sizzling of your eye burning and you smell it. And my dad's car, because he took me there for two weeks, smelled like my burnt eyeballs. Two weeks. It was gross. Real gross. What does burnt eyeball smell like? I. Uh, <laughs> what can you compare it to? Oh, man. Gosh, it's such a unique smell. Is it like burnt hair? Because no. I know that smell. No. Um. Mm, like would, chicken <laughs> no not like chicken god i don't he might be able to describe it better but it was definitely like a i don't know made you want to gag kind of smell but mm -hmm. like crisp crisped up not so like those eye doctor fresh. people they get the privilege of smelling that all day long all day long I didn't smell it when I went in there though. So they must have an amazing ventilation system. They know, they know she gave me a stuffed animal and I'm like, what? And I'm laying on my back. And I just remember squeezing that thing so tight. And I, like, I felt like I couldn't breathe and it's it. Cause you see it, you see it coming into your mm -hmm. eye. You watch the whole thing happen. Oh, Anyways, thank you. So I was worried <laughs> that like, okay, some things like small writing, is a little harder to see at least in my mind I thought that was true so I was scared I was gonna have to go do it again so I just went and had an eye exam today and he's like oh boring appointment for you just you know if you have any trouble with small writing get like the lowest dose readers and that's it he's like you, your eyes are fine yeah I went recently to the eye doctor for the first time ever and I was disappointed ever, that ever. I didn't need glasses you wanted to be cool. Well, I mean, I don't think my vision is gr great, but yeah. I didn't need glasses. It was nice time, so. to hear that everybody can't read little things. <laughs> like it's not just me. <laughs> That's that. I. It's just nice to know that, like, okay, everyone should have to lean in a little bit on that one. Well, I used to have more than perfect vision the entire time growing up, so. I think my, I'm still holding yeah. myself to that standard. These are my smart person glasses with just a little oomph, just a little bit of oomph. That's it. That's it though. You have glasses. So, I what wanted to do a, a product review. Oh, this is it's a Brazilian Sol Janeiro Brazilian boom, boom cream. Does that does boom, boom mean bum, 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 bum. Yeah. But it's pronounced boom, boom, apparently. Oh, um, is it spelled bum? Look bum? how little this is, though. I just want people to see. In the picture, this looked like, you know, the kind of normal size of a body butter jar. Like I'm picturing, like from the body shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh, bigger. yeah, like the one you got me, right? Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Solid well, this was like thirty-two dollars. <laughs> it's okay. tiny. That lid it looks a, like it takes up a lot of space. <laughs> it had amazing reviews. Did it? Um, I. It's supposed to, because it has like caffeine in it. It's supposed to like lift and tuck and separate everything. Um, mm -hmm. But it was so small when I got it. I was like, oh, I have enough to really be conservative. Does that lid take up a lot of space too? Yeah. Oh, it does. Wow. It's almost gone. I know. And I've been really trying not to use it. I've had it for like a month. Does your face feel super awake? I, have, I haven't put this on my face. It's for your body. Oh, sorry. Um, I forgot. Bum bum. It's on your butt. Yeah. I don't think it's any different than anything else out there. So I just want to save people money. <laughs> don't. If you're lured in by all the Google reviews mm -hmm. and whatnot. It's tiny. And I didn't really notice that it did anything that amazing. Yeah. I'm always bummed out, especially with hair stuff. Cause it's like, you don't need to put very much in. I'm like, dude, I got thick hair, like it's thin, but it's thick. I do have to put more in. 
my hair gets oily. I do need more shampoo than you. And, and my hair gets then super dry after. And so then I have to put oil in my hair or else it becomes frizzy. Not so much here, but if in any place with humidity, it's crazy. It does smell nice, but other mm. lotions smell nice and don't cost as much and you get more. Yeah, that's fair. My little fish friend died. I figured I'd already, I, I didn't want to tell you. <laughs> How does this happen? He, I think it's because he was so baby. I don't know. Cause they, which makes me like really question. And this may just be me shifting my guilt. I don't know, but they're like, so teeny tiny that like, should the store really be selling them? First of all, if they're that young and I, I don't know how they, like my little house I have for it was super nice way better than the petri dish that they had it in so i'm very and i i'm a fish person i got 75 gallon fish tank out there i know ph levels like all of that and that poor little guy like after four days passed in a slumber so you're thinking it was too young to leave home well i mean they already had it separated from all the other ones i just think that um I don't know, like when you, like with my dad's puppies, for example, like he keeps them for a period of time so that you can demonstrate that they're healthy and that there's nothing wrong with them and to help them thrive before giving them to a new home versus the fish where it's like, oh, here you go. Give us your money. Well, I guess that's why some people are against getting pets at pet stores. I know pet. Next time, get a rescue beta. It was Petco, too, and I I know Petco has a history. They do say you can take it back with a water sample, but I am against shaming myself that I killed a baby. I will not. You have to take your dead fish in, though? You have to take the dead fish in with a water sample in order for them to give you the refund. And I don't want to be blamed for killing the baby fish. Well, I I don't want to carry a dead fish around with me in my pocket. Or my car. It's not worth well, it. It was so little. I, I mean, I don't even, even return things to eBay that don't work out. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I think I still have like two pairs of boots that don't fit around my calves. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, is it worth it? I mean, I have three hundred dollars in floor mats that don't fit my car at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the problems of our times. Time, <laughs> yeah, just our problems. Our problems. Well, cool. Tomorrow we do not meet for the podcast, but we meet the day, the day after. after that. And we are reviewing Yellow Jacket. Yellow Jackets. If you want to play along in the review and not have spoilers, watch it. Yeah. Watch it. It's, it's good. Free if you do the free trial free and then trial. and then cancel it before you're done. That's what I'm doing. And uh, totally worth it, though. Like, I, I'm enjoying it. Awesome. Um, say no more. I will say no more. I will see you next time. Maybe my hair will be different. Hopefully these will not be shorter. Bye. Bye. <laughs>